Yeah, David Dane, but...
got sweetness in the right lane.
Those up there, they're getting ready. Have your fire suits on, the track's being done, guys. We are getting ready. Watch 51, are you ready?
You good, oh? Good, dog. Just good stuff, my boy. Good stuff, my boy. <laughs> Great, congratulations, man. Oh, Marco, you can make me trip No, I know, I know. No, man, I'm sorry, but we've been crashing. We've just been focused. Man, we've done so much. Proud of everybody, bro. Smith Racecraft got us there, shit. Jesse, Allen, man, so many people we can thank. Ryan, my boy here, always helping us turn around the car, man. This is just. It's a lot to take in right now. Yes, sir. Come yes, back to the trailer. Let me just for sure, for sure, for sure. You good? You good? Come on, come yeah. on, bro. I just had to get to that. Talk to me, man. How you what feeling, up, man? Feeling pretty good, good, man. Yes, feeling pretty good. Busy night, but we got it done. So yes, sir. That's what matters. Yes, sir, yes, man. Hey, did you did your thing. Or the whole camp did their thing, but man, Oh, yeah, for hey. sure. No, they kept the thing going, man. I was yeah. just, I was, like I said, I was running around doing five different cars. So yeah. they were over there kind of keeping everything going. I just kind of stopped yeah. by and do my deal and trust that they got everything right and they ain't got to worry about it. So yes, it makes sir. it pretty easy for me. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, man. Awesome. She's already beat up. Hey, 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 hey! hey. You want to get this? Why are you going to the restroom right now? Who, who went? God. Nice run around. Bag them up. Which one? Just so y'all can see. Nah, you're good. We trust you, bro. Bro, we ain't. Tyler, throw the fire. Make it rain, boys. There it goes. There it is, baby. There it is, baby. How much we got there? Oh, I know that. Why everybody pay one of them damn 20s? 
Mr. Raul, yes, the sir. owner and operator of South Georgia Motorsports Park, man. What a freaking night. For sure. Oh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Yes, sir. All right, so I know you were running around, you were doing a lot. I got to ask you, man, what was your highlight of the night? Did I'll be you? honest, yeah. the finals. You know, I was only able to see the, uh, what was it, the, the uh, anything on 28 finals? Yeah. And then obviously the 484 finals. Mm -hmm. uh, I watched four races all night long, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So because we've got so much going on and I was helping with the shootout and running the pairings and the back of the lanes, I watched uh, very few races tonight. But my goal is that our guests and our racers have a good time and it seems like that's what they did. Uh, it's been overwhelmingly positive and everyone keeps back, you know, congratulating us on whether the surface or the amenities and, and as far as I'm concerned, it was a huge success because our guests are happy. For sure, for sure. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy to hear that. And I know it's been a lot. We just heard the hurricane, so. Yeah, so I know it's, it's been a rough, uh, let's call it four weeks, five weeks. We had eight days of no power. And the following day after we got power, we went into No Mercy. That was a nine-day race. They were thrilled with the, what they saw, whether it was prep or the bathrooms. We cleaned up and organized everything, had it ready for No Mercy. That was a big hit. Went into big money bracket race last weekend. And now Michael Hill's race. We're going import racing next weekend here. So we changed it up. And after that, we've got a motorcycle race with the Man Cup. And uh, right after the Man Cup, we're going into our dirt drag. So we do just about everything here, whether it's big tires, small tires, dirt drags, mud, mud bogs. Uh, we do it all, and as long as everybody's happy, we're going to continue to do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I salute to you, Raul, man. I love what you're doing, dude. The way you operate, the way you make people feel welcome at your facility. Uh, you helped me out today. Uh, just, just salute to what you do, man. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for supporting the media. Thank you for what you do with this facility, dude. Like, your hard work does not go unnoticed, dude. I'm telling you. I had a lot of eyes on you. You are doing your thing, Thank you. man. And just keep doing what you're doing, doing, man. The most important part, keep making people feel welcome at this facility, dude. Thank you're doing an awesome job. Well, the truth of the matter is, aside from all the amenities and how we treat our guests, if yeah. that race surface isn't prepped well and isn't satisfactory to the racers, yeah. we're going to fail. And sure, the guy sure. behind the prep at my racetrack is Raymond Perez. He's been doing it for 16 months. He had no mercy, he had lights out, he had a ton of events in between, and now he had Michael Hill's race. Of course, he's got support, but he handles the cause, whether he's rotating, dragging, spraying, what glue he uses. Yeah. I'll tell you this, we use nothing, nothing, nothing this weekend, but LC7 from VP. Most yeah. tracks may or may not like it, that's his choice and the results show that guy works seven days a week 12 14 hour days alongside mm. of me and he's our press specialist and he has knocked it out of the park as soon as we gave him uh the reins to run it by himself and he's yeah. taking the bull by the horn we couldn't be any more proud of uh, raymond perez and his track yes, uh, and what he's provided for these races i'm glad you touched on that, that was gonna be my next subject but yeah. you touched on it man uh, he's it's knocking the, it the out track, the track was freaking great yeah. side by side racing all day long yeah. like there's no excuse i had the track on kill yeah. like, and we, we don't like to put anyone on a pedestal but he really does rec uh, deserve a lot of recognition we're in the driver's meeting at 11 this morning we went hot at noon we were still in there and we could hear cars in the background making passes at 12 o'clock mm. with 100 degree track temperatures or probably a little more because it was about 85 degrees out and then the clouds come in it gets cooler at night so that changes all day long. He adapted and he knocked it out yes, from sir. start to finish. We couldn't be any more proud of him. Yes, sir, man. All right, Raul, thank you so much for your time, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I love you, man, and keep doing what you're doing, man. Thank you, bro.